This is lesson three in module three. And in this lesson, we're gonna be solving multi-step word problems using area and perimeter. And for this lesson, we're gonna go directly to our problem set. So let's look at number one and do that one together. This says solve the following problems using pictures, numbers, or words to show your work. Number one, the protect rectangular projection screen in the school auditorium is five times as long and five times as wide as a rectangular screen in the library. So we know we have two rectangular sp screens. The library one is smaller than the one in the auditorium. We know that the screen in the library is four feet long and the perimeter is 14 feet. Okay, and uh, we wanna figure out the perimeter of the screen in the library. So let's use what we know about the perimeter of the library is 14 feet. So the opposite sides are both four feet so added together is eight. And if we need a sum of 14, then we know that the other two sides have to be sum up to six. So we can divide that into two groups of three for each side. And so our perimeter is three plus four, which is seven times two, which is 14. Now we can use this to figure out the sides in the auditorium because it says that the auditorium is five times as long and five times as wide as the rectangular screen in the library. So for the width, three times five is 15. And for the length, four times five is 20. So now we have the measurements of length and width of the auditorium. So to figure out perimeter, we can do 20 times two for each side, and then we can do 15 times two for the two other sides. Multiplying, we get 40 plus 30, which is 70 feet. So the perimeter of the auditorium projection screen is 70 feet. Pause the video and you try number two. Okay, let's see what we did with this one. So David has a rectangular tent. The width is five feet. The length is twice the width. So if the length is five feet, two times five is 10 feet. So we know that's the length of his tent. Then David has a rectangular air mattress that's three feet by five feet, I'm sorry, by six feet. If David puts the air mattress in the tent, so now we're gonna put it in the tent. How many square feet of space will be available for the rest of his things? So if we figure out how much space is taken up by the air mattress, that would be the area of the air mattress. And we can subtract it from the area of the tent, then we'll see how much space is left for the rest of his things. So let's first figure out the area of the air mattress. So area equals length times width. So the area would be 18 square feet. The area of the tent would be 50 square feet. Now if we subtract the two, 50 the area of the tent minus 18 the area of the air mattress
we see that the space that would be left for the rest of his things would be 32 square feet. Let's look at number three. Pause the video and try this one. Okay, let's see. Jackson's rectangular bedroom. has an area of 90 square feet. The area of his bedroom is nine times that of his rectangular closet. Okay, since we know that area is length times width, so we have the area here of the bedroom and we know that nine times nine times the area of the closet is going to be the area of the bedroom nine times 10 is 90 so the area of the closet has to be 10 square feet if the closet is two feet wide what's its length well, again, since we said area is equal to length times width, if the area is 10 and the width is 2, then 5 times 2 is 10, so the length has to be 5 feet. Okay, pause the video and try number 4. Okay, here we have a deck whose perimeter is 30 feet. We know that the length is five times its width. So if we do perimeter equals two times length plus width, then we know length plus width has to be equal to 15 since two times 15 is 30. So what can L and W be so that the length is four times the width? Well, if the width is, the length is 12 and the width is three, three times four is 12. So that meets that criteria. And summing those together would be 15 times two would give me the perimeter I want. So the length has to be 12 feet, the width 3 feet, and it's asking what the area is. So area equals length times width. So multiplying that would be 36 square feet. And that's the end of lesson 23.